Hiya, and welcome back to the Point and Click Devlog, an ongoing series in which a monkey wrench is sometimes a very literal concept. This episode is a devlog in the truest sense, in that I'll mostly be updating on recent progress and covering off some mini milestones. But also, because I'm a masochist, I think I'm going to try and map out something of a rough timeline and deadline for the whole project. What could possibly go wrong? So regular viewers may be getting bored of this by now, but recent progress on the game has still been focused on getting all the backdrops done. The good news is that since I posted a few weeks back about a period of slow progress, I've managed to pull my finger out a bit and the pace has quickened somewhat. I've just kind of finished the 19th backdrop out of some 32, though it may actually be 33 in the end since I think I'd like to redo the building's reception or lobby if you're American. That was the first room I drew and I think you can tell compared to some of the more recent ones so it could stand to be redone. Why only kind of finished? Well, because I don't really consider any of these as final products just yet. Um, they're all there or thereabouts, but it's a bit like doing a first draft of a book at this stage. And some of them have elements in that I've just flat out not bothered with yet. Like if a room has a poster on the wall, I've just left it blank for now in a lot of them so I can focus on the scene at large rather than getting bogged down in the weeds. So I've been thinking about formalising the process for getting these over the line properly and here's what I've come up with. 1. Finish drawing all of the backdrops in their initial state. 2. Spend some decent time objectively looking at each one and coming up with a list of additions or tweaks. 3. Work through that list. 4. Draw my layered background vista, so the sky and scenery beyond the building with layers that I'll shift slightly as seen through each floor's windows as you progress up the building. 5. Export each background with the requisite layers, so you know, background, foreground and items. 6. Animate my rain as a full screen layer. And 7. Cut that rain animation into the right shape for each window in the game and export them as GIFs. I think that should be just about everything um, and that'll put me in a good stead for moving on to animating my main character and then building out the game. So let's talk about building out the game. I think self-imposed deadlines can be a bit of a fool's errand with this kind of project because you know things take as long as they take and unnecessary pressure probably won't help. But I have been wondering if it might be possible to use a deadline or a basic time frame in a more positive way. Basically, if I was going to tell myself I needed to finish the game this year, I'd probably panic and fail, but what if I gave myself really generous goals? So since starting this thing, I've had three years floating around in my head. It's a length of time that seems serious, like enough to make something good, but simultaneously long enough that it sounds like a reasonable time frame to get the game made and still do my day job and have a life. Obviously this could be the kind of thing where we look back in 2023 and laugh about how naive I was being here, but you know that's okay, I'm not EA, I don't need to crunch if things take a while. Either way though, you know, let's see what three years might look like, shall we? Okay, so we're pretty much in August now, but I started in March, that's five months somehow, um, and there's another five months left in the year. And I'm over halfway done with the backdrops. So let's be bold and say backdrops done and dusted to the spec mentioned earlier by the end of this year. And while we're at it, let's call this year year one. Year two then can be all about building the thing in Visionaire Studio, which effectively means getting a new scene in the game up and running every two weeks or so, replete with items, characters and interactions. And again, that may be naive, or it may be the kind of thing where I can get each one nailed in pretty short order. I don't really know at this stage, but giving the whole build section of the process a year seems nice and round at the moment, so that works for me. The slowest part here will be animation for every character, but screw it, let's 
put our flag in the ground now and say that year two is when all that gets done. Maybe it takes a year and a half, maybe it takes less, who knows. Year three then is for game feel and testing. That means in 2022, I should be focused on commissioning and recording voiceovers, sorting music and sound effects, and adding flourishes like extra animations to each room. This is also the year where I'll investigate the feasibility of including proper cutscene cinematics as opposed to just in-game ones, and ultimately getting some people to play the game. And then after all that, I can consider maybe launching the damn thing. So there we go. That's a scope of work, a time frame, a loose deadline. Call it what you want, it's something. You know, something to aim for at the very least. And a rough answer in my own head for the question of how long will this take? But you know what, I think the key thing is not to be put off or daunted by the scope and scale of the task at hand, or to panic if things do eventually slip. At the end of the day, the time between now and 2023 is going to pass no matter what I'm doing, so as long as I'm chipping away at the game in some capacity, that's still pretty good going. And you know, if all else fails, we can have a good laugh about this when I'm still doing backdrops in the year 2025. Anyway, that's me for another update, so thanks for watching. Just a quick reminder that this channel has a Discord server, which is linked below. Um, it's a good place for fellow point and click creators to get together and help spur each other on. So hopefully I'll see you there. If not, maybe I will catch you in the next video. See ya.